Welcome back to the course. And in this lecture, we're going to finally write our first code. So here is what we're going to do. First of all, I want to explain you what you see here. The HTML5 boilerplate. That is actually this doc type. This doc type here declares that this is an HTML5 doc type. So next up, I want you to go to your desktop or anywhere in your, on your hard drive and I want you to create a file. You're going to do, actually I'm going to open an explorer because it could be that if you're a Windows 10, you won't see something. Let's right click, hit new. You're going to create a text document and we're going to call it our first web page. And here comes the tricky part. You see this extension here? And if you don't see it, then you're going to go to view and click this button right here, file name extensions. Okay, so now if you see it, you're going to delete the text and write in HTML. This way we declare that this file is actually an HTML document. Okay, ask us if you want to rename it, you're gonna hit yes. And now right click again, open, and open with one of your basic text editors. You're gonna take notepad. Cool. Now we're going to write our first line of code. So let's say to this document that this is an HTML file. How do we do that? As I said, we're going to declare the doc type. So it's doc type space HTML. Next up, we're going to write our header. Actually, we're going to pack it into an HTML. We're going to write our skeleton. So let's say HTML and HTML, as we know, has also a closing tag. So HTML. Now we're going to, we're going to need two parts, two parts of the body, actually of the skeleton. We're going to need the head and the body part. So let's make a bit of space here. And what I like to do is to keep it separated. So we're going to space, hit one time space. And now we're going to start writing head and head also has a closing tag. And now we need a body. say body and the body tag also has a closing tag. Perfect. As if you can remember, we said that everything that we type into the head, we can't see in our web page. Let me just close this down. So let's give this page a name. What do we have to do for that? Title tag. And title also has a closing tag. I'm going to name it our first web page. Perfect. Now we have a title. We should put something in the body. Oh, actually, let's save, hit save. You can either hit Ctrl S, Ctrl S, or go to File and hit Save. Now, we're going to take our file and hit right click, open with Google Chrome. And <gasps> it's an empty page. And it says 
HTML our first web page and then the location. But it's still an empty page because we don't have anything in the body. So let's go back to our text document and say, I will now introduce you to our very first tag. This is a heading tag. It's called h1. Now h1 also has an opening and closing tag. And between the h1s, we're going to type, this is my web page. Hit save. And now ref let's refresh the page. <gasps> now we have something on our page. Finally, our very first web page. Another thing that I want to show you at this point is a comment. Now comments are declared like this. And close it. And between in, and in between these two lines, you can type everything you want. It will not turn up on the web page. So we're going to write here HTML5 doc type declaration. What is wrong with me today? I can't write. Let's hit save and see if we refresh, nothing happens. Okay, let's take this, right click, copy. You can say, yeah, because everything that is not in the in the body won't turn up on the web page. Let's try it. The same text as a comment. Let's hit save. Refresh our page. Nothing happens. What if we just take out the text and hit copy? You're going to leave the other one inside and put it right under our H1. Let's see what happens now. File, save, refetch. <gasps> what is this? Now, we didn't declare what this is, what kind of tag this is, <clears throat> but it seems that the web page still shows something up. Actually, in HTML, if we write something in, it will automatically appear as a paragraph and it will automatically have a max size of, depending on the browser, I'm not sure, but approximately 16 pixels. All right, now we wrote our very first web page and now the coding begins. So see you in the next lecture.